Good morning, I'm Specialist Lachance and today I will be giving a block of instructions on task 071-CharlieOscarMike-1002, which is determine the grid coordinates of a point on a military map. Uh, I have provided you with my VD 2977, the uh, Deliberate Risk Assessment Worksheet. We are in a classroom environment. The overall risk assessment is low, so watch out for cords, chairs, uh, any drinks you may have on the table, make sure you have your lid on and away from any paperwork or handouts. Uh, also, be mindful of the protractors. They have uh, sharp edges. All right, so we're gonna start with the, uh, the uh, conditions first. Uh, so the condition is you are a member of a squad or a team in a field environment and have been directed to identify the grid coordinates of a point on a military map, one to 50,000 scale military map a coordinate scale and protractor or a plotting scale, a pencil and a paper. You have been shown the point on the map. The standards are to determine the coordinates of the grid square, determine the grid coordinates of a point with and without coordinate scale and protractor or plotting scale, identify the 100,000 meter square, square identifier to determine grid coordinates. It's a lot, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate how to determine the grid the grid coordinates of a point on a military map. All right, now I'll be showing you guys how I got this. So basically, all right, you have a military map, right? Uh, so the military map can help you spot your location accurately. Uh, the map has vertical lines from top to bottom and horizontal lines from left to right. These lines form uh, small squares that are 1,000 meters. These are uh, just visual, I just zoomed it in so you guys can see it better instead of doing it on the map. So uh, I have a bigger one with a six digit grid coordinate and a, sm a smaller version with a uh, four digit grid coordinate. Uh, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys how, how I got the, these, uh, these points, these grid points. All right, so your address right here is 1181 for the four digit grid square. This is just your like broad, probably your most broad uh, grid point you can have. So it's not exact, it's just a kind of a location where you are on the map. So uh, this is one you would just send for generally if someone was wanting to know what kind of area you're in. So you would just, to find that, you would just start on your southwest corner and you would read from left to right. And you see that the first spot is 11. So you would write 11. And then you would read from, uh, from uh, bottom to top and you reach 81. So you would write 81. So your grid, your address for your grid coordinate would be 1181. And then if you wanted to be, get a more precise uh, determination uh, to get the uh, these extra numbers, this is how you would do that. So you would take your, uh, normally your grid, you would use this uh, protractor. The, uh, you would find out which map you're reading. And this is a one in 50,000, so I would use this one. And I would, uh, so if I was reading a point, I would put it in the southwest corner like this and normally read it, but you guys can't see that. So I'm gonna notionally do it on this one. So you're gonna start, read left to right again. You reach 11. You see it's in this grid square, 11. So you would write 11, right? Then you would read that it's in 81, like you did over here. So you would write 81. It's in grid square 11, 81, but we want a more precise location. So we're gonna use our protractor and we're gonna line it up. You're gonna each, each block, pretend it has 10 lines going from top to bottom, from uh, left to right. So you would just pretend like it had those and you would use your protractor to read it. So you would read, go over here and you would read that this one comes out to the five. So that would give you your third grid coordinate. Then you would do the same for this one, you would read it, that it goes to the third line. So that would give you your sixth grid coordinate. So now your more precise address would be 11, five, 
813. And that would be a more precise grid location for address. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys time to practice to uh, learn the standard. All right, so I'm gonna hand out uh, materials. I'm gonna hand you guys out your uh, Warrior Skill Level 1 you can follow around with, uh, Protractor, and uh, some uh, examples so you guys can work on it in practice. I need you guys just to find the, uh, on the, the map I just handed out to everyone, I need you guys to find the four digit grid coordinate uh, of the red dot, and then find the six digit grid coordinate of the red dot. Did everyone get 0182 for the four digit? And did everyone get 014825? All right, we're good. All right, now I'll be asking, it's assessment time, so I will be asking two questions for you guys. And uh, you will either be a go or a no-go. And uh, then I will push your uh, results to higher. If you are T, P, or a U. Any students who is, who is a no-go will be retrained as standard and then reassessed. All right. Looks like everyone is a go. I will send, send the results to higher. Good job, everybody. All right, now I'm gonna collect all the equipment back up from everyone. And now we're gonna begin our AAR. All right, so what was the commander's intent? The commander's intent was for us to determine the grid coordinates of a point on a military map. What actually happened? We conducted training to determine the grid coordinates of a point on a military map. What are some sustains? What are some improves? Does anyone have any recommendations to make training better? All right, now our summary is, we uh, started with a uh, four digit grid coordinate scale, and then we moved to a six digit grid coordinate scale for a more precise, uh, accurate location point. All right, now we're gonna review the risk assessment. Did anyone ID any other risk that we need to note, to note for next uh, classes? All right, now we conduct final inspection. Everyone, please, up, please police up their area. Notionally, take down everything. 